गाइस हेलो रोहन एंड वेलकम टू द चैनल वेलकम टू अनदर पार्ट ऑफ गेट एप्टीट्यूड सीरीज दिस इज पार्ट एट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज इन दिस सीरीज वी आर टेकिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एप्टीट्यूड सेक्शन ऑफ गेट एग्जाम एंड वी आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड टॉपिक वाइज टॉपिक सो देर आर सेवन मोर टॉपिक्स और सेवन मोर पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई विल सजेस्ट यू टू वॉच दैम ऑल लिंक इज देर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो ऑल्सो एल पिन इट पिन इट ओवर हेयर इन द आई बटन राइट सो टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट इन इक्वालिटीज बेसिकली इट कम्स फ्रॉम द मैथमेटिक्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू so there are few questions from mathematics which have been asked in the previous gate exams which are based upon inequalities in which they will give you some values like let's say they will give you that 3 is less than x is less than 5 and then they will give you another value that is uh 7 is less than uh, so, uh 7 is less than y is less than 11 then what is the relationship of x upon y or what is the relationship of x into y something like that they are going to ask okay so this is what we have in equalities related questions and uh, i'll try to explain you how to do these questions uh, with the logic and we will also try to have some uh, basic understanding of inequality so that we always try to do these questions correctly okay so now without wasting any time let's continue with our video all right so to understand inequalities first of all we need to understand some uh, like uh, symbols so there are four symbols which will come across one will be this which is basically between the two letters let's say if i write down a and b so this this whole sentence reads that a is less than b similarly if i make it in the reverse direction like this so it says that a is greater than greater than b this is these are two types of symbol less than and greater than now if i write down it like this if i make a line again like this so this is read as a is less than or equal to b all right so it means a is less than or equal to b whereas if i write down it in the reverse order like this so it reads the a is greater than or equal to b so these are four things which we need to consider then only like this is the basic thing about inequalities these are the four inequalities they are these the things are not equal but they are either greater or less than that uh, less than each other all right now let's quickly understand about some properties so once you understand properties it will be easy for you to solve questions related to it so let's talk about first property this is called as transitive property now what does it says it says that if a is less than b and b is less than c then a will be also less than c you can take any example let's say if i say that 2 is less than 4 and 4 is less than 6 so of course 2 is less than 6 also right this is also correct so this is called transitive property this also holds for equal to sign that means if a is less than or equal to b and b is less than or equal to c then a will be less than or equal to c this also holds for the greater than sign that means if i say that a is greater than b and b is greater than c then i will say that a is greater than c right so this is how this is called transitive property things are related to each other like this three things a b and c can be uh, can be found relative to each other now let's see the other property which is very useful which is addition and subtraction property this says that if there is a inequality between two uh, two digits or two variables let's say x and y which says that x is less than or equal to y here you can have any inequality it can be greater than less than only or uh, like greater than or equal to any of the inequality four inequality which i told you any of them can be here so if x is less than or equal to y in then if you add a number m is any number okay so if you are adding m on both the sides the inequality remains same that means x plus m or y plus m both will hold the same inequality so x plus m will be less than or equal to y plus m similarly if you are subtracting then also same thing is going to be there that means if you are doing like x minus m and uh, is going to be uh, the inequality will remain same uh, uh, and it will be uh, less than or equal to y minus m provided that m is a positive m is a positive number okay or positive integer 
So this is one of the property which is very useful. We will be using it to solve the further questions. Next property which we have is called multiplication property. Now this says that if x and y holds a inequality, it can be any inequality, it can be greater than, less than, any inequality out of 4. So if x is less than or equal to y, then if I multiply with an integer where m is again a positive integer, I will write down where m is a positive integer. So this says that if I multiply with m on both the sides, the inequality remains same. But what happens if I bring a negative integer? So if I bring up an integer which is n and which is some negative number or some negative integer, in that case, if I multiply this inequality with a negative number, then the inequality reverses itself. So if it is x is less than or equal to y, then on multiplying with a negative number, it, the, uh, the inequality is going to change its sign. Okay, So less than will become greater than. Similarly, if I have x greater than y, then x into n will be less than y into n. Okay, So you have to uh, like you have to be very careful when you are multiplying with some negative number over here. Okay, The next property is called conversive property. This is very simple. If let us say there are two numbers or two uh, variables a and b and they, they hold an inequality that is a is less than or equal to b, then if you take reciprocal of them, the inequality is going to change. So 1 upon a will be greater than or equal to b. Similarly, you can say if I have x, uh, sorry, a is greater than b, then if I have to write down for 1 upon a, so the inequality will reverse itself. So it will be uh, 1 upon a less than 1 upon b. As simple as that. So any inequality is there. Let's say if it is like a is greater than or equal to b, in that case, again, 1 upon a will be less than or equal to b. Okay, so that will be less than or equal to 1 upon b. As simple as that. Okay, now let us see how to solve questions based upon inequality. So, let us say I have two equations, equation number 1 and I have equation number 2 and this equation says that x plus 2y is less than or equal to 5. This says 2x minus 5y is less than or equal to 15. So, what I can do? I can add these two equations. Okay, I can add these two equations. On adding what I will get? I will get x plus 2y. So, I have to add the left hand side of both of them. So, x plus 2y plus 2x minus 5y and the inequality will remain same and this side you will add the right hand side. So, 5 plus 15. Alright, so what you will get? If you open the bracket, you will get 3x and uh, minus 3y and this will be uh, 20. So, this is how you will get a new equation. So, you can basically solve two equations, you can add, you can subtract, you can do anything out of it just by using the inequality values or the inequality terms. All right. Now, these were some basic things which you need to know about inequality. Of course, you can keep on solving a lot of questions to get into use to it. I will give you some question at the end of this video. But let us solve some previous years of gate exams questions so that we get to see that how these questions are asked in the exam and how we can solve them easily. Okay, so I'll take this question. This was asked in GATE 2022 exam, a very recent exam. It says two equations are there that 3p minus q is less than 4 and 3q minus p is less than 12. Which one of the following expression below satisfies the above two inequalities? So the, again, this is very simple. You have to just solve these two to get any of these values. Okay, so let's try it. We have 3p minus q is less than 4 and I have 3q minus p is less than 12. What I can do? Okay, so you can do this question in many ways. You can either add or subtract, but uh, let's keep it simple. Let's add both the equations. Okay, so adding both equations, what I will get is 3p minus q plus pq minus p. Okay, so left hand side has been added, then the inequality and 4 plus 12. Now, if I open the bracket, so it will be 3p minus q plus 3q and minus p, right, less than this will be 16, right. So if you solve this 3p minus p is going to become 2p and this is 3q and minus q is going to become plus 2q less than 16. Now similarly, just like you, uh, just like how you multiply the whole inequality with a positive number and does not change in the same way. If you divide the whole inequality by your number, positive number, it is not going to change. So if I divide the whole equation by 2, 
what I will get is P plus Q will be less than 8. So this is what I am going to get and this is here in option number A. So option A becomes correct choice for this as simple as that you have just solved the two inequality equations and you have just added them and applied the lo simple logical uh, like basic things and you have got the answer. So let's see another question and let's see how to do that. Okay, so this question over here says that if 3 is less than x, first of all, this was asked in gate 2013 exam. It says if 3 is less than or equal to x, that which is less than or equal to 5, uh, whereas y is greater than or equal to 8 and less than or equal to 11, then which of the following options is true? So let's try it. Okay, so we have two things. We have 3 less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 5. And another equation I have is 8. Uh, less than or equal to y less than or equal to 11 okay now if you see the options you will find out that in all the options you have something like reciprocal now looking at that you will think that if i just simply divide these two equations i will get the value but this is not going to happen like that okay whenever you have to like you have to solve two equations instead of dividing them if you are th if you are having an option of dividing the two equations especially when you are dealing with inequalities so instead of dividing two equations with each other, you multiply two equations among each other. Okay, so don't go for like in inequalities, inequalities. Instead of instead of division, division of two equations. Go for multiplication of two equations. Okay, go for multiplication of two equations. How we, that is going to be achieved? Okay, I need my y in the denominator. So let us make it equation number one. Let's call it equation number one and let's call this equation number two. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take reciprocal of equation number two. What I'm going to do is taking a reciprocal of equation two. So if I take reciprocal of equation two, what I will get? See, eight will become one by eight. Y will become one by y and 11 will become 1 by 11 and as i said the uh, the property of the convergence property in which when you are taking reciprocal the inequality is going to change so the sign which was greater than like y was greater than 8 so 1 by y will be less than or equal to 1 by 8 similarly 1 by y will be less greater than or equal to 1 by 11 so this is the new equation which you have got equation number 3 you can write down this equation in another method also like just in the reverse order i am just writing this 1 by 11 here then the sign see the signs are will, will like they are exactly same if you read both these equations they are saying the same thing it says 1 by 8 is greater than 1 by y this also says 1 by 8 is greater than or equal to 1 by y this says 1 by y is greater than or equal to 1 by 11 this also says that 1 by y is greater than or equal to 1 by 11 right this is my equation number 4. So what I have to do now, I have to multiply equation 4 with equation 1. That's all. Okay, and that's how you are going to get the answer. So I will do it here itself, uh, the space which I have, so I'll do here. So multiplying equation 4 and 1. <coughs> so inequalities are same. So this will be 3 into 1 by 11 less than or equal to x into 1 by y less than or equal to 5 into 1 by 8 so your answer will be 3 by 11 less than or equal to x upon y less than or equal to 5 by 8 which is option number b now this question many people did mistake they simply divided these two equations and they have got uh, any other option which is not even there in the option given right so the correct uh, way of doing it is this only and that's how you get option number b as the correct option so these were two questions in the previous 10 years of gate exam which i have found from the inequality i will now give you some questions so that you can also practice of your own do let me know in the comment section what is the correct answer of that and uh, the first comment which i will get as the correct and uh, complete explanation of that i will pin that comment in the comment section below all right so let's take some question as homework questions now Okay, so this is your homework question number one. Okay, this is a MSQ type question that means you will have more than one correct answer in this. 
this is homework question one it says that if 14 is less than 2x plus 4 is less than 22 then which of the following option options is are correct okay which of the options are correct whether x is less than 9 or x is uh, greater than 5 and less than 9 or x is greater than 7 less than 11 or x is greater than 5 so you have uh, these four options you have to check that which of these there could be more than one correct answer in this okay that's why i have said that it is a msq type question so do let me know in the comment section what answer you have got for this question all right simple you have to apply simple uh, way of solving inequality okay that's all okay let's take another question it says that the value of x for which x cube plus one is greater than or equal to x into x plus one holds true is okay so what is the, the value of x for which this equation is true so again same thing you have to do you have to solve both the sides of the inequality you can basically add or subtract something from both the sides in order to eliminate the things and come to the uh, like come to a closer value and get the final value in the in the answer okay so this is your homework question number two and uh, that's it for this video these are the two questions try to do them and do let me know in the comment section below that what answer you have got that's it from my side for this video thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye bye. Take care. Hey guys, so I teach live on Unacademy Plus platform. Here I teach for the CSI UGC net category. And you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas, in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much